This video will demonstrate how to send Morse code over the internet on Ubuntu 12.04 using the ALSA sound system. You'll need to watch the first video. This is a follow-up video. The first video, how to send Morse code over the internet on Ubuntu 12 using Pulse Audio is essential for you to understand this video here. So go back to this one if you haven't watched it. This video will demonstrate how to send Morse code over the internet on Ubuntu 12.04. Anyway, watch that video and then watch this one. The only difference after you've watched the first one, the only difference is we're going to use ALSA instead of Pulse Audio. Pulse Audio is a couple more steps with ALSA is a native sound system You'll need the GNOME ALSA mixer and that's it. You don't have to worry about Pulse Audio at the moment. You have to change the settings in Mumble. So go to the Mumble settings, configure settings, change your system to ALSA in both audio input and audio output. There's a lot of selection so I'm using plug hardware, plug HW. So we'll open this up and that's the one I'm using. You can try hardware alone without any conversions. Just find the one that has your sound card on it. The name of your sound card. And for mine it's the ES1371. So I can choose this one, but I decided to just do the other one that has some software conversions if it's necessary. Try them both, see which one you like better. I have a second virtual audio card which is called Loopback, which is part of the Pulse Audio uh, and the ALSA. ALSA has a loopback and that's what this is, but Pulse, Pulse Audio also carries it uh, in its selections. Don't worry about the other ones. The one we're looking for is either HW card and then the name of your sound card or plug HW and the name of your sound card. So for the audio input, plug HW and then the one that I have here. I'll output same same thing choose also plug HW and my the name of my uh, sound card hit apply and OK and see if everything's working so let's give it a try on the upper icom room here so we get some static static from the icom there back to the testing room, unmute the mic and we'll send some Morse code and see so everything's looking pretty good Morse code is coming through you've got I'm using the mic inject since I don't have a line in so it's unmuted so I can hear the side tone and this is the amount of volume going to the input of mumble as the first video described and that should pretty much stay the same then when you hit the save button apply and OK when you come back to this it should stay the same sometimes the pulse audio you have to reselect it in the pulse audio volume control but with ALSA usually this will stay the same it will your device will stay the same in both the input and the output. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to use ALSA for the basic setup using an external side tone generator and mumble.